Haemophilia is a genetic disease that affects men and it means that for their entire lives, they are bleeding. They have an increased predisposition to bleeding into their joints, into their muscles. And if they get a nasty hit on the head, they can actually suffer a massive bleed into their skull, which can be life-threatening. This means that they live with the threat of a life-threatening bleed all through their lives. So it's a fairly rare blood clotting disorder where your blood doesn't clot, so often you have a lot of bleeds into muscles and joints, so it's always there with you, but it's really quite difficult to deal with and often terribly painful for the bleeding episodes. Every few days, everyone with haemophilia needs to inject themselves with a particular concentrated form of the protein that their liver is not making. Millions and millions of injections and therapy is intravenous, so it um, takes a lot of hospital time, a lot of downtime from work and that sort of thing. So it's a, it's a condition that does have quite a few impacts on, uh, on people. So today um, I've had a marvellous new therapy that's been managed by the team here at the Royal Prince Alfred. But it's gene therapy and they have a, a fairly quick uh, intravenous injection and hopefully it will spur my liver into creating the factor eight that I currently can't produce. This particular revolutionary gene therapy clinical trial that we've performed has been for haemophilia A, which affects some two thirds of the patients with haemophilia. This patient that was infused with gene therapy is now possibly looking at a potential cure that might alter his life and at least perhaps shift him from a severe predisposition to bleeding to at least a reduced frequency of bleeding, if not completely preventing those bleeds. Well, for me, it'll mean that I can just go on with more of the things that I like to do in a more normal, normal fashion and be a bit more um, active and enjoying life rather than sort of stuck sometimes at home or sometimes at hospital. It's a terribly exciting time to be part of this experimental gene therapy clinical trial. Royal Prince Alfred Hospital has a proud tradition of firsts and this is yet another first that we can add to our long lists of firsts.